fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Hail, Silver. Hooray! The town of Hilltop had grown up around the railroad station, where trains, both eastbound and westbound, had to stop for water after a long uphill climb. When Jim Anderson, the engineer, brought his train into Hilltop, there was nothing to show that tragedy was just ahead. He stopped as usual, but 30 minutes later, the heavily loaded train began to coast. Jim and the fireman had been in one of the cars when the train started downhill. They started at once for the engine, climbing over coupling after coupling while the train gained more and more speed. They reached the tender. Then the engine where Jim tried to apply the brakes, but by this time the train was hurtling wildly, rocking on the rails, threatening at every instant to go off the track. Jim! Jim, hurry! Set those brakes! I'm a-trying to. We're not slowing. The wheels are sliding. But Jim, there's a turn ahead. I know it. Do something. You've got to stop us. I'm doing all I can. We'll never make the turn. You know who did this, a dirty crook. Jim, we should have told him we knew. I've got to hold these brakes. Got to try to stop the train. You can't. You can't, Jim. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to jump. Do what you please. There's a turn. We'll go over for sure. I'm jumping for it. masked man and his Indian companion had seen the runaway train from a distant hill and had ridden to the scene of the wreck at top speed. Oh, silver boy. Oh, 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 oh. It was the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Let me close. The cars are nothing but splitters, Tonto. And that's right. If anyone is buried beneath the wreckage, I'll look at the man who jumped clear. He move. He's still alive. I'll give him some water. Steady, fella. Take it easy. No accident. Steady there. You mask. We saw the crash. Here, let me hold your head up. Water will help you. No. Steady. Nothing will help. How did the train get away? Dirty schemers. Crooks. 
Working with Indians. What do you mean? You know what caused this? It, it's no, no accident. No accident. What caused it? Can't. Oh. Kimosabi. Yes. Trouble come this way. We move fast. Otto, did you find anyone else? A fellow in Indian. Him dead. No one else. Him only one. This fellow dead? Yes. Before he died, he said someone caused the train to get away. Indian come from other side of the train. Indians? That's right. Plenty Indian come fast. Loot the train? That's right. Yes, I hear them. You go other side direct, you see him. How many? Twenty, maybe more. Too many for us to handle. Ah, we go. Nothing can be done to help this man. We'll see if we can find out what he was trying to tell me before he died. Steady. Easy, Mr. Silver. You ready? Yes. Get him up to the fire. disappeared among the hills as the Indians reined up with savage cries of jubilation and began to loot the train. Jim Anderson, the engineer, left a daughter in the town of Hilltop. The girl's eyes were red-rimmed from grief as she sat in the little office of the railroad station with Jeb Turner, the agent. Now, there's no use saying I'm sorry, Mary. I guess you know that. Yes, Mr. Turner. Uh, I'd give my right arm to bring your dad back. She was one of my best friends. One of the best engineers, too. That's just it, Mr. Turner. Dad wouldn't have left that train without being sure it wouldn't start rolling down the hill. I know he wouldn't. Sam has just rained up outside. He may have learned something. I do hope so. Oh, sit still, Mary. You stay and hear what Sam has to say. Howdy, boss. Uh, come in, Sam. Uh, oh, Miss Mary? Hello. Sure sorry about your dad. I reckon we'll all miss him. Uh, how did you make out at the wreck? Learn anything? There wasn't much to be seen after the Redskins finished with it. Oh, uh, I see. I've been a brakeman for some time, Mr. Turner. I've seen some wrecks. But never one that was smashed up like that train. Uh, what condition were the brakes in before the wreck? Perfect shape. The whole train was in good shape. One of the best ones we have. You put blocks on the wheels after the train stopped, didn't you? I sure did. Brakes were set and the wheels were blocked. Uh, where were you when the train began to roll? In the other room, I was talking to Hank Peavy. We looked out the window, and the train was moving. I couldn't believe it at first. Uh -huh. And we realized the truth and tried to do something about it. But the train was already on the way. We couldn't catch her. Of course not. Here's what I don't savvy, Mr. Turner. What's that, Sam? Why were Jim and the firemen on board? They're generally at Jim's house for a cup of coffee while the train takes on water. I can tell you something about that. Yeah? What is it, Mary? Dad brought the firemen home as usual. And they were having their coffee when... When Dad got a message. What kind of a message? Well, I... Well, speak of Mary. If you know something, tell us. I suppose I might as well. Dad wanted it kept secret until he could learn some more about it. About what? Someone was scheming with Indians. Scheming with Indians? Yeah. What do you mean by that? He wanted to get proof of it. While he was having coffee, he had a message that told him to go to one of the cars on the train. So... He and the fireman left. And what about the Indians? Tell me what you know. What did Jim say about them? You know, Mr. Turner, that, that there have been things stolen from trains from time to time. Yes. A couple of times, Indians have been seen with some of the stolen goods. But there was never any way that anything could be proved. Well, that's generally known, Miss Mary. Well, Dad had the idea that someone who was working on the train was working in cahoots with redskins. He was on the track of something mighty big when he... He had the message to go to the train and meet someone. Who was he to meet? I don't know. Didn't he give any hint? All I know is that he was to meet someone. I think he was sent for so he could be killed. Boss, I can't help feeling that suspicion points at me. I was the one who was to make sure the brake was set. But I did all that. You can ask Hank. 
He was with me in the station for half an hour after I went into the office. Oh, no one is blaming you, Sam. Someone's to blame. My father was murdered. Uh-huh. Sam, could someone have got to the engine and released the brake while you were in the station? Well, sure they could have. That's what must have been done. Well, likely it is. But even so, there were blocks under the wheels. They'd hold the train without brakes. Someone had to pull them away. You any idea who might have done that? No. I, who is it? A mask man. Hold on, stranger. Here you are. Oh. Is this a hold-up? No, it's no hold-up. Where'd you come from? What do you want? You're the brakeman, aren't you? What of it? I want to talk to you. Me? Yes. Come with me. Like fun, What I do you want of Sam? Oh, so that's your name. Glad to know you, Sam. Well, I'm I want not... to ask a lot of questions. I think you can give me the information I'm after. We'll have to go someplace where we can talk without interruption. I choose the men I talk to. So do I, Sam. I've chosen you. Are you coming willingly or otherwise? If I go with you, it'll be because you drag me. Sorry, I didn't want to use force. No, that's how you want it. Hey, let go of me. Let that man go. You Do can't move. An Indian. Let me go. Hello. Me catch him. This way, Sam. Do right with me. You pay for this. I'll have the law on you if it's the last thing I do. You change your mind about that. I'll have the law on both you and the redskin. Boss, boss, do something. Make him let me go. You stay here and me not hurt you. Mr. Turner. Mr. Turner. Sit still, Mary. But they've captured Sam. They may kill him. Oh, don't open that door. That Indian will shoot if we try to interfere. The Lone Ranger rode hard with Sam across the saddle. Tonto stayed a few paces in the rear, watching to be sure there was no pursuit. The pace was fast. In a few moments, the great horse Silver came to a halt in a small camp near the edge of town. Oh, Silver, boy, folks, oh, steady, easy. Yeah. Sam I was badly Sam. shaken from the ride. It took several minutes for him to recover his breath. In the meantime, the masked oh, man oh, spoke in a way that should have inspired confidence. You've nothing to be afraid of, Sam. I brought you here to ask some questions because I was sure you had nothing to do with the train wreck. Because I had nothing to do with yes, it. Yes, that's right. You seem mighty sure of what you say. I am. I was near the wreck. I was close enough to hear some of the things the Indians shouted while they looted the train. Yeah? I think I know who planned the wreck and who caused it. Who? Uh, two men. Name them. Not until I can prove their guilt. But, but why'd they do it? Who'd want to kill a fine man like Jim Anderson? Jim was nearly ready to expose the men who were plotting with the savages. He was killed, so he couldn't interfere with their plans. You just name the pole cats, and I'll see that they pay. Oh, no, Sam. The law must see that they pay. Say, just who are you? <laughs> Names don't mean much. Oh, uh, Sam, what does the next train do at Hilltop? Why do you want to know? Tell me, when is the next train due? Well, I reckon I may as well tell you. It's the day after tomorrow. Uh -huh. Will it uh, stop at the station as the last one did? Sure it will. All the trains got to stop there to take on water. Hmm. See. Well, uh, perhaps we can use that train to trap the killers. Who are they? How did you know about them? I told you, Sam. Todd and I overheard a few things the Indians said. The next thing is to prove the guilt. Is it someone working for the railroad? I think it is. Look here, mister... Let me show you something that may change your tune considerably. Oh? I just want to... Why, you... It. Sam! You, you too, Redskin. Too fast for you, wasn't I? Put the gun down, Sam. Not on your life. Get, Get back, Injun. It's your own gun I'm holding. You know what it'll do. You move plenty fast. You bet I did. And I can move even faster if you make me shoot. Put it away, Sam. This won't get you anywhere. We'll see about that. I know who the crooks are, and I'll deal with them myself without waiting for proof. But there must be proof. The law must deal with them. The law be hanged. Now grab that rope and tie the Indian. When you're done, I'll tie you. Move fast or I'll blow your head off. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto were taken by surprise when the railroad brakeman, moving with amazing speed, snatched Tonto's gun. Put it down, Sam. Not on your life. What do you think you'll gain by this? You want a fiddle-faddle getting proof against the skunks that caused the train wreck. Well, I won't wait for the law to take its course. I think you will. Do what I said. Take that rope. Go on, take it. Pick it up. Very well. That's it. Now tie that Indian's hands. Sam, have you ever used a bullwhip? A bullwhip? It's used like this. Hey, that get gun. You he hold on. All right, Toto. Stand back and pick up your gun. Uh-huh. Pretty smart, aren't you? You shouldn't have tried any tricks, Sam. I'll try more than that to get you two train wrecking pole cats. Huh? I know why you're asking about the next train. You two are the ones who started the last one downhill. Toto and I? Is that what you believe? It's all gone right, it's what I believe. You want to get the next train, too. That's why you're asking about it. That's why you snatched Toto's gun. It's all gone right, it is. You're wrong, Sam. We had no more to do with the wreck than you did. By thunder... Now, listen to me. We have a lot to do between now and the day after tomorrow. You've got to help us. Not me. Now, be quiet. So you can hear what I have to say. When Sam, the brakeman, didn't return, the town hummed with excitement. The sheriff pledged special deputies and took them to the station before they went out on the manhunt. Now, Jeb, you tell these men all you can. There's not much to tell, boys. Sam and Mary and I were in the office when the masked man came in with an Indian. He dragged Sam away with him. You think Sam had anything to do with the wreck? Not by a turn, sir. Now, hold on, Hank. Don't be so sure of that. Maybe he and the masked man were together on some scheme. Maybe the masked man took him away so he couldn't talk. Oh, but Sam was in the station with me when the train started rolling. Sheriff, you studied the ground near the wreck. Didn't you find some tracks and footprints? Yep, I did. Engine ones, you mean? I mean tracks of high-heeled boots and hoof marks of horses wearing shoes. They checked with the tracks the masked man and his horse left outside this station. That proves that the masked man was on hand. He probably helped the Redskins loot the train. He let the Indians have most of the cargo, but he kept the cash that was on board. He took Sam away to split it with him. I won't believe that of Sam. Well, that's how it looks to me. Hey, Jeff. Sheriff. Sheriff. Hey. Where you been, Baldy? I sent Baldy to check up on something. And I did. I found something. Look here. A money bag. What? Look at that, Sheriff. That's the kind that was on the train. Baldy, where'd you get that bag? Let me see it. Here you are, Jeb. I found it just where you said I should look for it. Yeah. Sheriff? This is one of the sacks from the train, all right enough. No doubt of it. Where'd you get it, Baldy? I'll tell you where I got it. I found it in Sam's house. Yeah, what? Yeah. It'll hang Sam when we find him. It's mighty sharp evidence. You can't hang Sam on the strength of that. Sam wouldn't wreck no train or kill Jim Anderson or the engineer. He wouldn't, I tell you. And how'd that money bag get in his house? Looks to me like Jim's hunch was right. Sam and that masked man were working together and working with Indians. You can't judge Sam until he's here to tell his side of it. Then get him here as soon as he can tell his side of it. Then prove he lies and hang the critter. Uh, right. You won't find him here in the station. Go on out and hunt him down. Right, Jim. But gosh, you got to give Sam a chance to tell his story. He'll get a chance and sold the masked man. Come on, boys. All right, Jim. Right. The manhunt spread in all directions from the town of Hilltop. Men searched every cave and gully. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take a look inside that cave, boys. Uh, there ain't any footprints around. Well, go on, look anyway. Maybe they covered them. Right. Hurry it up. Here come the boys I sent to the west. See any trace of them in that canyon? No sign of anybody, Sheriff. There's gotta be around here somewhere. Nobody's in that cave, Sheriff. And I guess we'll have to give up for today. We start again tomorrow. Mount up. Come on, man. The second day saw the search extended farther, but with no success. Nightfall brought the posse back to town once more. They had searched everywhere except in town at Sam's own house. There, Sam, the Lone Ranger, and Tonto stayed concealed. Darkness had fallen as the three men talked. We'll leave here as soon as the train comes into the station, Sam. They've searched the whole country for us, I'll bet. <laughs> sure was smart of you to bring me here. This is the last place they'd think I'd be. Now, Sam, you're sure you know what you're to do? You bet. Good. 
Sure had you wrong, mask man. Here I was trying to shoot you. You were helping me all the time. <laughs> there wasn't much time to explain, Sam. It uh, must be almost time for the train. Is there anyone near the house, Toto? No. No one near. You're ready to go, aren't you, Sam? Sure. There come train now. All right, Sam, we'll leave the house. Come on, Toto. Uh, if we're seen... Oh, we'll try to avoid it. Be a number of people on the station platform. We'll keep the train between the station and ourselves. Come on. Uh, what do we do about horses? we got them later, Toto. Gone. I sure hope this plan of yours works out. It's got to work out. The don't, we'll get our necks stretched. Can you do your part? Yeah. Leave the rest to us. You know what you're to do, don't you, Toto? Uh, me know. Good. That train. You look at front wheel. Oh. Putting blocks in front of the wheel so the train can't coast. That's the same as it was done the last time. You've got to remove those blocks, Toto. Uh, me fix them. Don't get caught at it. Anyone sees you, they'll shoot. Me know. There's an open door in the third car from the rear. Yeah? That's the car we'll use. Wait right here. Now what? You stay here out of sight until the train is taken on water. Engineer, go away now. Probably going into the station. Well, that engineer is Shelley Barton. He and his fireman always wait in the station. Good. What are we waiting for? I've got to be sure Mary delivers a message I left beneath her door. Message? I didn't know about any message. She delivers it. The sheriff will come around at the center of the train. If he does that, he'll see us. He'll see us, all right, Sam. He's got to see us. Right where the last train stood. I hope the same thing don't happen again. Yeah, better not. Come on inside, Barton. Right. It'll take a little longer than usual this time. See you later, Sheriff. All right, Jeff. Sheriff? All right, oh, Sheriff, I won't see you. Miss Mary, what's the trouble? Look, I have a message for Me? you. Me? Come on over here. I found it on the floor. It had been shoved beneath the front door. Let's see it. And this was wrapped in the paper. A bullet? Yes. Hey, this bullet's made of silver. I thought it was. Let's read this note. You want to solve the murder plot? You ought to go to the other side of the train. Uh-huh. Do you think it's a trap? Other side of the train. Downright curious. Bring Baldy and keep it secret. What do you make of it? Baldy, huh? What does the silver bullet mean? Well, I got a hunch what it means. I'll know for sure in a few minutes. You're going to do what that note says? Yep. Hey, Baldy. Hey, calling me, Sheriff? Come here. You forget about this note, Mary. Just forget you got it. Very well. Hey, what's up, Sheriff? I need your help. Come on with me. <laughs> sure thing. Did a pretty fair job of finding that money bag. Maybe you can give me some more help. Glad to help in any way I can, Sheriff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe someday you'll be wanting to swear me in as a deputy, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I ought to be on the county payroll. Uh, where are we going? Just around the rear of the train. Something we got to see on the far side. Yeah. Well, where is it? What is it? I don't see it. That's hard enough. Hey, get them up. The mass man. Take the guns, Toto. Let me get them up. Sheriff, we're we're trapped. Looks that way. Don't it, Baldy? Make that gun. Good. Now, you two, go right up to the third car and climb aboard. Go on. What's the idea? What are you going to do? Find out. Sorry I had to trick you into this, Sheriff. I didn't know of any other way to get Baldy where we wanted him. Do your talking now. My turn will come later. Hold it. Get into that car, both of you. For what? Get in. I'm getting in. All right, sir. Go ahead, Toto. Do your part. Ah, me go. I'll have to tie you, Sheriff. I'll use your handcuffs on Baldy. Now, wait. Listen here. What's this mean? Stick your hands out. Hurry. But I tell you, I... There, that'll hold you. Your turn, Sheriff. Right now, you're having things your way, mister. But I'm going to have the last word. Oh, we'll see. This is what's back of this move. The purpose is to get Baldy out of the way, Sheriff. You're involved because you were used to bring Baldy to me. There. That rope is tied in. We're, we're moving. That's right, Baldy. Too bad you and the Sheriff won't be able to come with me when I jump off the train. We'll be killed. We're, we'll go the way Jim Addison went. You we're, shouldn't trust a greedy partner. He sent you. He sent you to get rid of me. I'll do more for him than you could, Baldy. Now that he's gone in for large-scale train robbing... He needs someone bigger than you to help him. And that ornery double-crossing pole cat. Listen, mister, let me go. Help me off the train. I'll, I'll make it right with you. You can't do as much as your partner can. I can, I can, I tell you. 
I'll give you a 50-50 split. I've got to jump before the train gains too much headway. I'll give you more than a 50-50 split. We don't know what the future payoff will be. There's a lot of cash in the last robbery. Your share of that job is something worthwhile. You listen. Wait, listen to me. Save me. Go in with me and I'll give you Jeb's share of that robbery. His share is twice what mine is. Jeb's share? You're talking too much in front of the sheriff. He'll never live to use what he knows. Hurry, mister. Let me loose before it's too late. You know where Jeb's share is? Yes. It's right under the floor in his office. My share is there, too. He hasn't split with me yet. Thanks. Oh, wait. Wait. I'm not leaving you. I'm just firing a signal to the man in the engine. What do you mean? What, what man in the engine? We were coasting downhill, Baldy. Not out of control like the last train. Sam has been in the cab. We're stopping. Yes, that's right. Sheriff, I made those ropes quite loose. And I got them all. Good. Here's your gun. Right. Hey. What, what's Thanks for truth? spilling the word on Jeb. That, that masked man. Baldy, you should have warned the Indians. While they looted the last train, they kept talking about the man without hair. You, you tricked me. You made me think that you... I was brought my horse alongside. Post down. Post, post down. I hope you understood, post Sheriff. Post well, I had a hunch when I saw the silver bullet. I was sure of my hunch when you tied my hands so loose. You'll handle Jeb. You're doggone right I'll handle him. And so will the hangman. Oh, Sheriff. Sheriff, it was Jeb's idea. It was his scheme. He made me help Shut him. up, Baldy. I want to watch that mask, man. Look at that white horse out there. Hello, Sheriff. Hasta la vista. Oh. Oh, Sheriff, listen to I me. I said shut up. Don't interrupt me when I'm watching the Lone Ranger ride. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.